I just I feel like I'm so frustrated like I'm so manic right now like I've just I've just had it I've had enough I think I've just been internalizing all of my feelings and it's all it's all inside like I can literally feel it across my chest that's where it is right now and it's all like like a pressure cooker I don't know if anyone else gets this when they get like really quiet and then their voice in their head is like really really loud and you're just like constantly chatting to yourself but you're not saying a word out loud and it's just like really loud does anyone else get like that because that's how I feel right now I just need to talk I don't even know if this video is ever gonna see the light of day I just feel so frustrated and angry and fed up that's what I am I'm fed up I'm fed up of trying constantly trying and constantly going nowhere i said it in a previous video before but it feels like i'm an elastic band like i go so far and then i just ping back and then i go so far and i just ping back and it doesn't feel like i'm ever moving forward and i'm just so itching you know like i will do anything i will try anything right now within reason of course not me just gonna go and you know sniff up some cocaine or whatever not there yet lol that's a joke obviously don't do drugs that's weird i don't know why i said that i'm just kind of in this weird mood at the moment i just feel like so so stuck and so lost last july august time i was in this exact same position where i just feel like i keep trying and nothing nothing works I'll tell you what it is i feel like my uh worth is not enough like i don't feel like i am good at anything that i do everything i try i fail at or everything i try i'm like average you know i used to play piano i used to play drums i was very average at those things like i was an okay drummer could just about keep in time which is like the bare minimum for a drummer it was like bare minimum at everything i feel like i have potential but i can't fulfill it at this moment in time i just don't feel good enough to even try and fulfill it god my anxiety right now like i can feel it in my chest i'm kind of stuck with with youtube a little bit because i had all of these video ideas that i wanted to do a little bit like how to reframe feeling like a failure which was like my whole thing last year feeling like a failure and so i learned from that and i made a video out of that and i really enjoyed doing that sort of thing but sitting down to film those kinds of videos now when i feel like my self-worth is just so low and i just feel like i'm not good at anything it would just feel so hypocritical of me to sit down and try and film a video like that when i'm in this state of just feeling like what am i doing you know like like how 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 much do i keep trying at the moment like i absolutely can't sit down and make videos about self-empowerment self-confidence when i feel like i'm just like below average it's just so hypocritical to me so i'm kind of wondering considering maybe making like a little series or a, you know a few videos of documenting this whole process of me being in this place where i'm just so stuck and rubbish and i feel like this and document that whole process of trying things to try and get out of that place it'd be useful to me because it'd be like accountability me trying to get out of this rut me trying to get unstuck in a place that i've just been for for years and years I get so much anxiety right now it's it's just all in my body it's like in in my gut and it's in my chest anyway i don't know if anyone would be interested in that kind of documentation and, and the thing with that is it won't be like a serious thing where every week there'll be a video about it because i don't want to force myself to do stuff just for a video that's not what I want to do it at all it's almost a bit like the bedroom makeover series uh, and I, I loved making that but every week it was like a panic of like oh I need to continue this series like there needs to be another episode next week so I have to go out and I have to buy all of these things to make a video about it to get that up for next week like I don't want that to happen for this not especially not when it's like me trying to get out of this place that I'm in and so I don't want that to be the case where I'm just like forcing myself to do stuff for the sake of a video that's not what I want to do so if I do decide to make this a, a series or something it will be just be like an, a natural progression i'm not gonna force things just for the sake of content or for youtube like that's not how i want to do this because this is my life and i just feel so stuck like i'm just fucking going around in circles but i'm just like at that place now where i've 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 been in this cycle for years and it's just like almost like groundhog day every year it's just like, like groundhog year maybe that's probably the best thing and it's like i'm trying to do different things i'm trying to set up a new business it's like throwing spaghetti at the wall but instead of it sticking it just like slides off and like nothing is sticking i think i need to go home 
and make a plan of being like okay what can i try once again i've really got to think like what can i actually do physically different i think there's there's probably only so much you can do from the comfort of your own home that's what i need to try i need to get out more i need to do stuff but like with what money a lot of things you have to have money even if you want to go to a coffee shop or meet someone for a coffee you have to have money in order to make money i have to stay in and work on my business so that i can then go out and do stuff so it's like it's almost like this chicken and egg circle i think it's probably at this point the fear or the, the, the frustration of staying in this position outweighs the anxiety you know it's funny because at like the beginning of the year every year i'm like right this is the year I'm going to change. This is the year that I'm going to do all of these things. And the first two months, I was like really on it. And then it just kind of, oh, someone's come up behind me. Okay, so yeah, so it's so a young man. I'm going to put my shoes on and probably fuck off. Because you just don't know. You really don't know. Can you not get out? No, there's like so much room now. Why did you just pull up next to me? My heart right now is really racing. And I've locked my doors. And now it's just driven off like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my God. He pulled up next to me for far too long. Like if you're reversing, you would pull up and then you'd go back. But he pulled up and he stayed there for a good 20 seconds. Okay, it's fine. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Does anyone ever get that like anxiety coming down to your fingertips? Maybe I have magic powers. I don't know. Is that a good idea to make that that kind those kinds of videos of me just trying stuff to get out of a rut? And I see all these videos actually of people doing that, but they just do it in one one day. It's like change my life around with me, and then it's like one day of them doing stuff. That's not how this works. Get out of a rut with me. And it's like them doing their nails or something. And I'm like, what? I think I kind of wish that I felt safe going outside for walks. I don't know what this video is. I don't even know if this is a video. But if I do put it out, would anyone be interested in that kind of video? It will be very raw. It will be very real. And I'll take you along with me on the ups and downs of trying to get out of this elastic band cycle. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. I just have this massive fear. <sighs> gonna be sitting here in a year's time saying the exact same thing that would be devastating truly devastating for me i'm like halfway between like i don't care anymore like what's the point of trying that's kind of just what this one thought that i've had for years that i just keep thinking about like if there is a parallel universe i just really hope the kate in that one is happy and she's doing well i just hope that somewhere out there she is living life and she has friends and she's successful in her own right i really want that for her if if there is another universe it kind of breaks my heart to think about actually that's just really increased the anxiety cool it's interesting to think about all the lives we could have had if i'd said yes to this opportunity or if i'd gone to university or if i'd done this instead of that you know so many different lives that i i could have led and yeah it almost feels like i've just taken the most bland plain boring i hate that there's this pressure in your 20s to like live this vivacious vivid fun wild life i hope i will have that in my 30s oh god i just remembered so i made a video two years ago called Dear 30 Year Old Kate. I'm 30 next year. And I've got to make a response to that video. I've got to rewatch that video and I've not watched it since then. Oh God. I feel like I'm gonna sob through all of that because I feel like I've let her down. I remember my brother asked me before my 29th birthday he was like, what's been the best year of your life so far? And it completely stumped me because I don't have one. Can't look back at any specific year and be like, oh yeah, this was the best year or this was the happiest year. Or, I did really well in this year. It was like, no, there was none of that. It's all been fairly sad, lonely, miserable. <laughs> 
And I know, like, it, it, it comes and goes in waves, doesn't it? Life isn't linear, life goes up and down and up and down, but like, this just kind of feels like I'm just going round and round and round. Something drastic needs to happen, because I'm not happy. That's the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm not thriving, I'm surviving. I'm not living, I'm surviving. When will it change? Will it ever change? And then, when I do this. Ooh! Anxiety is back. That was like the biggest bee I've ever seen in my life. I did not freak out. Ooh! I did not freak out. I'm doing really well with this. I think I need to go. I need to go home. Same, actually the same day as I recorded that earlier clip. I'm just in a different tub because it was so goddamn hot anyway. Enough about my hotness and enough about the mess behind me. Just ignore my metaphor for my life right now. Um, I just had a thought and now I've forgotten it. So this is going well. I am just so sick of staying inside. Like I, I, I don't go out. I rarely go out. And I know that's bad. I don't know, that's bad. It's hard to get outside when I feel safer indoors. One. Two, social anxiety. Three, shame. Shame keeps me locked behind the door because I'm like just ashamed at where my life is. And also like if I meet people I know or I don't know, there's always the question of, oh, so what are you doing with yourself nowadays? What, what do you do for work? And I'm like, I've got a failed Etsy shop. What about you? You know, it's not really a good look and it just kind of seems a bit demoralizing for my own insanity. So there's that. I will just be safer if I just stay indoors. I feel like a lot of people are like that now because of COVID, but I I was like that before COVID. <laughs> when everything shut down and everyone was staying in, I kind of felt a sense of relief. It just kind of felt like I wasn't on my own because everyone was staying in and that's what I usually do. I think I've just got to kind of get into the mindset. I love that I just cooked dinner by the way and now it's just getting cold. <laughs> Because I just had I just had this thought and I just wanted to like record it a second. What was I saying though? That was not me farting, that was the door going. There's only so far you can go sitting behind your own door. And this is the thing, you're going to be shit at it um, in the beginning. If it's socialising, you're going to be shit at it to begin with. Where it's like when you start anything new, you're going to be really, really bad to begin with. And it's just self-acceptance. It's just accepting that fact and being like, okay, this whole socialising thing, I'm going to be really shit at it. For, for a while, just because it doesn't go right the first five, six, eight, eighty times, like one step closer to becoming better at it. I know that's really obvious now I say it like that, like when you when you think of any hobby you start for the first time or any sport or whatever, filming videos, editing videos, you're gonna be really shit at it to begin with. I mean, it's just that practice. It's just doing it over and over and over again. And I think what helps you to keep going is the self-acceptance. It's, it's accepting the fact that it's gonna be bad and to not beat yourself up about it when it does go bad. I think that's what I need to get into the mindset of because at the moment I'm just like really shying away from social experiences. Like, oh my God, my social battery right now is fucked like non-existent recently i have a social battery life of maybe about 30 minutes you know if i'm meeting people who i don't really know properly it's about 30 minutes and then as soon as that timer starts it just starts going down and down and degrading until by the end of it i'm barely saying anything or i'm just like i'm doing the bare minimum in talk you know you, I, I do the small talk you know i can my small talk or Oh, I like, you know, could talk out my ass, small talk. Yeah, and there's me just remembering a conversation I had like back in March with someone I hadn't met for years. And I was just like really bad. This was in a room full of people who, some of who I knew, some of them who I didn't know. And I just went from one conversation to the next conversation to the next conversation, just getting worse and worse each time. And I remember running up to my partner being like, I've forgotten how bad I am at social situations. I've forgotten how bad I am at conversation. Like, I've just had to run away from someone to come and find you because like, help. <laughs> I literally just like hanging around him all night because that's kind of where it felt safe. And I really need to eat my dinner. I think I need to warm it up again because that's cold. It's been like nine minutes of me recording, so I've got to go. Love you. Yes. Okay. Weird. Okay, fine. Bye.